So, David, I'm getting ready to preach through the book of Ecclesiastes, and I hope some of our people will read Living Life Backwards uh, along with us as we go through the book. And um, you pastor a church in Aberdeen, Scotland as well. And how did the book of Ecclesiastes, as you were preaching through the book of Ecclesiastes, getting ready to write your book, I assume that's the process, how, how, did, uh, how did Ecclesiastes affect your church? It's a, it's a really good question. Um, the way I would put it, I mean, you and I have only just met, haven't we, today on Zoom here, but and we're, here we are, two pastors. Look, we've both got bookcases, and I'm looking at your books over your shoulder, and you're looking at mine, and I'm thinking, oh, he reads that sort of thing. And um, I, I think pastors, you and I, we, we live in these books kind of world, don't we? They're big books. They're academic-type books. Pastors very often live in Ephesians and Romans world that that's what we want to give our people we want to give them solid teaching excellent doctrine which is great and wonderful and praise god for it churches need that and at the same time our people congregations the people in your church who i don't know are the same as people in my church they live in a proverbs ecclesiastes song of songs psalms world don't they they live in the real nitty-gritty of work family sex relationships heartache lament joy suffering pain and sometimes church can be for people that they probably don't say it to you and me they don't admit it but church can be a bit of an exercise in kind of leaving the real world and entering this high flying theological world and you and i you know same as i do we're not often that good at connecting the real world to the theological world and I think Ecclesiastes is part of the Bible's wisdom literature that is right in the in the muck of life where people live. And to answer your question really directly, I think what it did to our church is I saw people smile and laugh in these sermons more than any other time. Um, the, the, the material is so real, so earthy. It's all connected to what you do every day, chasing the wind, chasing your tail with kids to this, this, that and the other. And I think, I think our congregation simply enjoyed me living in their real world for a bit longer than I normally do. And again, I would just say that to you, to your precious church family, that this material is God saying to you that your daily life really matters and every part of your life matters, your relationships, your decision-making, your work, your pain, your unanswered questions that the book of Ecclesiastes is there to help you with all of that and to help you in a really profound way. And, and I think it it had that effect on our church family. I don't think in, in 15 years of preaching, I think Ecclesiastes and Proverbs are the books that I think have had the biggest impact on our church family, as much as I want it to be Romans or Ephesians or something like that. That's so insightful. Yes, thank you. Great.